I'm Fabian from Sun Valve Valve Bodies. Thanks for joining us today. Today we're going to have a little demonstration set up here on the REO F11A transmission. It's a CVT from Nissan. Just come a little closer and I'll show you a little bit of our cutaway. We performed a cutaway here. Uh, what we've got here, we removed the torque converter. We went ahead and exposed the front of the uh, housing. You could see the pump in the chain. You could see the primary pulley, okay? And you can also see the uh, differential, and here's where the axles come out. Over here, if you come over here, you could see the two variators. You've got the secondary, the primary, and the push belt right here, okay? This is my setup, so I can control it. This would be like if the valve body was controlling it. So if, let me go ahead and get going. Let me get it started up. First thing I'm gonna do is put a little air to it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and initiate my machine. So right now, I'm in park. I'm gonna go ahead and put it reverse, neutral, drive, okay? When I do that, I should go ahead and engage my forward clutch. And it should start spinning forward, right? And I engage a little bit more. And you can see as I'm putting more forward clutch, it gets faster. You can see that? If you're looking at the at the differential you can see it gets faster i'm going to go ahead and let off a little bit see let me apply the forward clutch again see it gets faster as i'm applying the clutch okay so i'm going to turn off the clutch cut my air out for a second come back in now i'm going to show you how the pulleys do so come around this side and this would be similar to what the pulleys do Okay, so here's your primary pulley. As you're acting, this is your A solenoid kicking up. And the variator starts to bring in. As you can see, you're going full ratio, and as you bring it down, your B comes in and brings it back down. So here's your A solenoid. I just turned off the B. I'm gonna turn the A solenoid back on. And you can see from that that the pulley's getting tighter. I'll back off and bring it back with the B. That's the function of the valve body, A and B, okay? So you can see how it works. Let's do that one more time. I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the primary. I'm bringing it up a little bit more. You can see the belt ratio is changing. I'm gonna let off and then bring it back down again. The other, the secondary just kicked in. So by controlling these two, it's basically like the AB switch of the valve body. Let's do that again so you can see it. Get a little more pressure on the A. Here it comes full ratio, let off, and I let the pressure off so it returns. Keep in mind, on the secondary pulley, we have the big spring that's always returning it back, okay? So let's go ahead and move forward there to the front. I'm gonna go ahead and engage my reverse. Let's see if the pulley starts going to the other direction. Apply my air, and now I should go backwards. So now the pulley is going in the reverse direction. Okay, so that's your reverse. Let's try that again. So you can see that the reverse is being kicked in by the, the solenoid or my valve. Okay, so I wanna go ahead and let me try forward again. I gotta depressurize it, go back in, kick in my forward clutch. Forward, there we go. Now the forward just kicked in again. All right, I'll give a little bit more, build up the speed. There you go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my forwards engaged. Let's do the primary test one more time. Come on back here and let's just do this primary so you get the gist of it. This is your A solenoid adjusting on the valve body. It's starting to bring up the pulley. It's coming full ratio. I close it, your B1 comes in. So there's the operation back and forth of the, op of the variators. Air being applied, full ratio and ratioing it back down. This is just a demo. I just wanted you guys to understand how this works. So this is how it's working inside the car. Right. It's a good demonstrator. Let me go ahead and turn it off. That was just a quick demonstration on how the CVT transmission works with the valve body. I hope you would like our demonstration. It's just a quick little way to understand how variators work. Thank you for coming by. Appreciate it.